Four people are behind bars following a drug bust at a Butler home. The Cal Central School District continues to look for ways to cope with a $1.6 million budget cut. And we'll introduce you to this week's Pet of the Week. I'm Taylor Brooks. These stories and more next on Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Grab your W-2s and head over to Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. We'll do your taxes for free and apply your refund right now as a down payment on a new car or truck. Then we'll match your down payment up to $500. Preferred Auto on Grand Staff and Auburn. Who's your Ohio News Channel? Leading you into the future of how you get your news. Local. Dependable. On demand. And now, the latest from Hoosier Ohio News Channel. Four people were arrested after a drug raid in a Butler home on Tuesday. Police searched the home on East Green Street just after 3 p.m. 42-year-old Richard Hartman and 32-year-old Dasha Borer were arrested for the possession of meth and other drug charges. And 42-year-old Billy Parker and 43-year-old Dwayne Holbert both faced charges of maintaining a common nuisance. All four adults lived at the home. And the City of Auburn will spend over $10,000 for industrial site certification for two properties, one of which being owned by Mayor Norm Yoder. It includes 65 acres of land on County Road 29, south of the CSX railroad tracks. According to the Star, the council voted 5-1 to one in favor of the spending. Mike Walter voiced his opposition, stating it was a conflict of interest due to the mayor's personal investment in the land. Yoder says the city can use the land to attract business and jobs to Auburn, and in no way does funding benefit him personally. The city currently owns no other open industrial sites adjacent to the city. And a four-hour standoff outside a Kimmel home came to an end with tear gas. About 10.30 on Tuesday morning, deputies were called to Clark Street at US 33. A woman told deputies a bullet was shot into her home. The gunshot was traced to a home on West Bortner, where police made multiple attempts to contact a man inside, but he refused to come out. Four hours later, several volleys of gas were deployed into the home, and the man walked out with his hands up. He was taken to Parkview Noble Hospital for a mental evaluation. The case is under investigation, and no charges have been filed. And coping with a $1.6 million budget cut, the DeKalb Central School District is now offering retirement incentives in hopes of encouraging voluntary turnover rather than involuntary staff reductions. Eligible employees must be at least 55 years old and have 15 years experience. And this week's pet of the week is Shaylee. Shaylee was left in a kennel at the shelter. She's a mixed breed, about seven to eight months old, weighing 29 pounds. She's a very friendly puppy and full of energy. If you'd like to adopt Shaylee or to see other pets up for adoption, visit the DeKalb Humane Shelter on US 6 in Butler and see more pets of the week at iloveforoggy.com. And that's the news for now. Find more news at iloveforoggy.com. I'm Taylor Brooks. Have a great day. But you approved me for a car loan two years ago. Times are tough. We've had to tighten up our standards. Do you approve any car loans? Let's see. But here's some great news. I just got my bonus. If you've been turned down for a car loan, you need to see us today. Preferred Auto is the largest independent dealer in the state. So banks and credit unions want to lend us money. If you're tired of hearing no, it's time to start hearing yes. Come see us now at your Preferred Auto on Grand Staff next to Hollywood Video.